as summer comes winding down, a lot of people won't be out in the woods camping, but we will, and we camp on motorcycles. So today, I'm going to talk a little bit about my bedroll and my habitat to stay dry, stay warm, and be comfortable. Let's get this party started. So y'all all had to see the bedroll at one time or the other, I'm sure. Uh, it's been classic. They've carried them since the Civil War. Uh, they used to use, ouch, they used to use old canvases and a blanket. Um, you've, I'm sure you've seen them on people's motorcycles. Well, we kind of are going to do a modern take on this. I don't use a tent. I use a bedroll, an old-fashioned goodie but oldie, tried and true. I mean, it's truly tried and true. Um, mine's a little bit different, but you know, I use it for camping on my motorcycle. When I go camping, most of the time it's on my motorcycle. Uh, as you can tell here, there's so many things wrong with this picture, but this is the basic idea of a tarp, your motorcycle, a way to stay warm and dry. Uh, if you do do this, don't lean the bike towards you because if you land underneath it, you hit the kickstand, the bike's going to fall over on you and then you're going to have to dig yourself, dig the bike, and dig your first aid out. That's called low side. Do it on the other side. That way if the bike falls off the kickstand, it falls the other way. It don't fall on top of you. Uh, at the same time, when the water comes down, uh, it won't follow the line of the bike and leak on your head it'll go the opposite direction <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense or not but anyway so what we're gonna need you're gonna need a tarp I just use plain old blue tarp like you see I'll show you in a minute my little setup I've got it sitting here beside me you are going to need a blanket or a quilt I don't use a sleeping bag say I use what they call a camping blanket it's like a sleeping bag but it don't zip up and all that. Um, you're going to need a pad or a wool, a wool blanket. I use the wool blanket because not only does it insulate you from the ground, you can also use this extra heat depending on how you roll yourself up in it. Uh, you're going to need a pillow. Yes, that is a pillow. I actually have this one in my backpack and at night when I need a pillow, I take it out and even though it's got water in it, I blow it up with air, put the Brown side down, it's a pillow. I run that down being a grunt Marine Corps. Uh, you're going to need a stick. Uh, this one I actually use. It is the Sunpack 6700M. I got it at Walmart for I think like $15 or $18, or something like that. Uh, it spans out, it has multiple uses. We'll go over that in a minute too. As you can tell, there's one use a tarp, a string and a stick your basic easy throw up quick tent I don't use a tent I use a tarp a lot of people tarp camp uh, I just find it easier quicker and less stressful than trying to throw up a tent with a bunch of poles uh, like I said it is a bedroll as you can tell it is a bedroll it's a classic like I said uh, a lot of the military has carried these things for years they used to have the string, the bag of bonds. That's one of the ways they got their name. Hoboes. You roll it all up, tie it up, put a string around you, carry it on your back. Uh, you've probably seen some of the Civil War reenactors and stuff like that do it. So anyway, I saw about the pole. What this pole is, it's a mono pole. And if you notice on this end, it had this little screw. What I originally bought this for is you screw your camera on and that way you don't shake and stuff when you're trying to take pictures um, it does have a soft handle for hiking and if you put your camera on there you can just leave your camera on and hike on around it spans out as you can tell it spans out to a little bit over six and a half foot 
uh, on this end it does have a rubber boot but the rubber boot screws down and it's got a little spike so if you're walking or you need to soft mud or something while you're doing a camera you know you set your camera up stick it in the ground poop you've got something so you don't kind of like whenever you're hunting you know you want to lean up against a tree or something so you don't have your gun going same principle um i do like it it's not super expensive it's made pretty decent i mean i'm not endorsed by these people i just i've had this one for a while when i go hiking or go walking my dog uh this is my hiking stick as much as it is my camp pole uh with the screw on top it fits right to the the tarp one of the things in the tarp uh so one of the eyelets so it works pretty good like i said it was just i think it was like 15 to 18 dollars at walmart it's really it's not super heavy but it's sturdy and it works good for the camera it works good for a tent pole and i can wrap it inside my thing most time i don't i just stick it on my backpack that way i can pull it out if i need it if i need to you know use it like a weapon you could say an animal gets after you poof, it give you a little bit of a reach to keep them off of you and with this little rubber thing it would kind of hurt i ain't never had to do that i've used it a couple times to poke some stray dogs when i was walking out by myself i ain't smacked them with it as you can tell it's not bent. i don't know if it bend or not it's pretty sturdy when you got it folded down it's like a baton almost i mean it is decent you know if you're just trying to get an animal off of you and you got that little pokey thing out there the pokey thing works pretty good they'll they'll get the hand if you poke them a couple times that nose they'll get the hand um it works awesome as a tent where it's so adjustable like i said there's three different levels so it's it adjusts out uh, it's about six and a half foot it'll adjust out to you so i mean it's it's pretty good as you can tell let me plug that in as i take it over it is pretty good as you can tell um i used to carry a tripod but it just got to be too much unless you're doing like a, an actual photo shoot where you're setting up this works perfect if you need to you string it down when i use it as a tent i'll actually uh run strings down from this and it kind of holds it steady with the tent uh sometimes i just tie the tarp straight to the bike other times i use the tent there's so many different ways you can configure a tarp or tarp camping you google that you'll see it you youtube it you'll see it anyway pretty much what a bed roll is is you have your canvas or your hooch or you know your tarp and you use that like a tent uh no it's not fully enclosed like a tent and keep all the bows off of it now there's different configurations you can actually close it all the way up to where it will uh, I don't normally do that. I've got one, my tarp, and you'll see my bed roll here, man. It's kind of bigger than most, but uh, I've got my tarp. I like to have something underneath me. Kind of keep, you know, the, the ground gets, you know, you can get hypothermia if you lay straight directly on the ground, even with the sleeping bag. So you want something to insulate you a little bit. That's the reason I carry my wool blanket. Um, I've got an old wool blanket. I've had it for, I think, forever. It's an old military blanket. It's, I want to say, four and a half foot wide by seven foot or something like that uh, my tarp is actually eight foot wide by 16 foot so it's kind of that way i can fold it over and still have enough that way i got something underneath me and i can bring the sides down depending on how i do it um, the tarps the old poly tarps everybody knows the eyelet trip out there's tricks for that you take a walnut put it in there make it a slip knot pull the slip knot you can pretty much put eyelets in where you want that actually have an eyelet um, the other things polycord I always keep polycord uh, this is the parachute cord that they make, make the brace out of it works really good and you can also use the inside strands for stuff um, this one started out it was a, a little bit bigger than it is now I'd say there's probably still a good 200 300 foot there but you know um, I still got white, old white cord on my rope, as you can tell. Uh, this one's seen better days, but I've had this one now for oh lord, a couple years, and you can tell it's ripped here and there. But the way that you do it, you do different layers. If you look it up, different ways. Like I said, it's it's probably a little bit 
bigger. I mean, if you're looking at it on the handlebars, yeah. Which my bike it sits about right there, and my handlebars when I get the heaps are up here. Uh, it actually sits lower now. It sits about right there. I can still see my headlight see the top of the thing. Uh, most of the time I put it on my sissy bar, depending on if I got somebody to ride with me or not. But this has the tarp. It has the stakes. I got, I think I got six stakes in here in a little pack. Um, got my wool blanket, a sleeping pad, and my sleeping quilt, which is like a sleeping bag. And it's, it don't really weigh that much. I mean, if I was backpacking, I could put this on the bottom of my backpack, not a problem. And then my whole backpack will be empty because I don't carry a tent. This is my tent pretty much. Uh, on the motorcycle, it's awesome. Like I said, I just take that and that. That's my tent, my sleeping apparel, everything. And if I wanted to, like I said, I could put the, the pole inside of it. So you can kind of kind of tell. Um, it's big enough to where if I want to, depending on the, the way I do it, and I've done this for it, I'll run an A-frame, and then on one side that I'm sleeping, beside the bike, I'll put the bike in the center of the A-frame, and then bring it over the bike, down, and then curl it back under on the ground. And that way I can sleep right there. I always put the kickstand away from you if you're doing the lean. Um, I know I showed y'all the lean earlier. Hang on, I'll go back to it. No, that's one way to figure it. The lean. I gotta go through here. I I didn't think this through too good. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. And you've probably seen it on bikes. Sometimes it's an accessory to just use it. Like I said, in the wing, you don't want to kickstand beside you because you kick the kickstand, the bike's going to fall on top of you. You want to kickstand away from you that way. The bike falls off the kickstand, it's going to fall the opposite way at the same time. The angle of the bike, as you can see, if the rain was coming down, it would hit the tank and roll right underneath the tarp. If it's away from you, the rain goes away from you. Um, this is not the best thing. I've done exactly this. Uh, before just throw the tarp, hook it to the bike, run it out, stake two pieces, you know, pow. Uh, just tired, wet, cold, it finally stopped raining, and I was just wanted to lay down. The only difference was, like I said, I had the bike, the kickstand away from me. Uh, also, the pipes, if you do it right, the pipes, if they're still warm, can actually help heat your tent, depending on what configuration you do if you do a closed end part of this. Um, with my tarp, it's big enough to where the ends right there, I could take and bring it down so it covers my feet, and then I'll just have the head part where I'll have a flap where I can just pull the flap out. That way, it's kind of enclosed more. Um, different configurations that you Google it, look it up. Um, I like this one channel, Wonderlust. It's a young girl that hikes. She's done Appalachian Trail and everything, and she tarp tents now instead of using a tent. Um, it's just easier, quicker, uh, more convenient for a lot of people. I mean, that way you ain't got to pack your sleeping bag sucker, worry about keeping it dry, you ain't got to worry about your tent, losing your post, all that. It's just easier. Uh, for me it is anyway. A lot of people that I know that I've camped out with, I've rode with, that's how they do it. I mean, yeah, you can go out and you can be, you know, one of these guys that go to Cabela's and spend thousands of dollars on this big fancy can or this bivy or whatever else. And I've got two different bedrolls. This is the one I use when I actually go camping. I've got one that I just keep with me. It's a little small one, a little small tarp with two blankets in it, uh, a wool blanket and a... Um, I don't know how to describe the other blanket. It's just a big fuzzy worn blanket I've had forever. Um, and it works good. If I'm just going out and I don't know if I'm, you know, if I'm going to be back or if I'm going to one of my buddies to kick it for a night or two. And anybody that knows me knows even when I'm in my Jeep, I don't take a tent. I, I think I might still have a tent if I didn't let somebody borrow it. But, I mean, I ain't used to tenting. I think the last time I used tents were me and Greg with Kevin. That's because I took a female with me. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty much the tarp with the wool blanket and the sleeping bag, sleeping quilt is pretty much it. Uh, if I take my little roll, you know, I just take it. It's long enough to cover me up. When I get to my buddy's house. I'll go out beside the bike. You know, I'll make a burrito roll out of myself with the tarp and the blankets and 
I've had a couple of people not realize it was me out there and think, what is this tarp doing laying in the middle of my yard and come over and kick the tarp to see what's under it. So let the people know that it's you under the tarp. Uh, I'd like to go with the old, an old canvas tarp. Uh, they're kind of expensive now. I'm gonna go to uh, one of my buddies that does the trail. He pretty much lives on the Appalachian Trail. Whenever I can find him, he does all kinds of different stuff. So I might talk to him and see if I can find one. Uh, they're a little bit heavier than the poly tarps uh, as far as weight goes. And there's a little bit of maintenance to them, but they don't rip as easy as the polys do, which the polys are cheap. I think I paid, I got a three pack when I bought this one a couple years back. Uh, I think I paid like 10 bucks for a three pack at Walmart or the dollar store somewhere. Uh, it does pretty good. Like I said, you see rips and holes in it, especially if it had been on motorcycle bugs hitting the gravel flying up, it will rip. That's because I like to go with the canvas bags. But you know how that goes. Uh, pretty much the stakes, the cord, the tarp, uh, and I can use it with my backpack when I go hiking or I can throw it on my thing. Uh, there's a certain way you tie it with the slip knot. You can see the round piece, the round piece. That's a classic look. And then you just go between it. And then for tie down, I will actually slide my sissy bar through here. And then I have tie downs. This rope, I've got, you know, I slide it around. How? And just, I tie it around my tag thing. Actually, this loop goes on one of my tag bolts. And then this one goes around it and that one hooks to it and it just holds it down on my sissy bar and when I do my handlebars same basic principle um, I've got a just set it on top of the headlight let it rest in front of the bars and just tie it to the bars with that with these um, the old school vagabond way is they would take the string and you would run a string over and that's what you would throw over like a purse as you can probably imagine but I mean it's a little bit bigger than most and I could make it smaller I just don't want to <laughs> I'm just used to it and the tarp's big enough if the tarp wasn't so big it wouldn't roll up so bad um, I think it might be a 20 foot tarp I don't even know but it's more than enough for me so anyway between that that I think all together the cap and quilt was probably the most expensive I bought it back in the day though um yeah just get out there live life enjoy stuff life's too short not to you know what i mean uh pretty much yeah pretty much if you're gonna go camping go camping enjoy yourself that's what it's about make it as fun and easy as you can and to me this is the funnest easiest way to do it wake up in the morning and still have to worry about rolling a tent the right way doing this doing that and once you learn to roll the bed it's no problem Pretty much, you just fold it in and roll a burrito. That's it. Um, it's a lot easier than a tent. Trying to get a tent in a bag and trying to put your sleeping bag in a compression bag and dealing with all that, and then trying to get on the road to try to fix breakfast. It's just easier to do it this way. You can roll it up, throw everything together. If you want to? You can throw an extra set of clothes in there. Um, I got a pair of sweats inside here, just in case I get cold. Uh, so I mean, it works good. If you want it to, there's people that live just out that way. A pair of extra socks, a pair of this, a pair of that inside the row, throw it across their back and go. Same thing on a motorcycle. So anyway, I figured I'd tell you all that. So until next time, live, be free, peace. Like and subscribe so you can get so free, y'all. And don't forget, hit that bell so you can get. When we are here.